So, how, how do you want to start it off today, Chris? I don't know. How do you want to start it off today? I don't know, Matt. Beats the piss out of me. And then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did. We said we're gonna travel from the island to Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. Why? Oh, because of some kids. But it's okay, cause I'm moving different. Don't be saying nothing when I post it with other bitches. It's all for my brothers. I'm a good girl. I can't believe like, you kept that shirt. What are you talking about? Why would I ever get rid of it? Well, it's like, why would you, I don't know why you just like are wearing it on a normal day. All right, if you guys, it's, it's not, not a normal day. It's not a normal day. day. It's today. <laughs> and today is a gift. That's right. <laughs> today is a gift. Um, so, if you guys are unaware, in our last Wednesday video that we just posted, um, Matt and Chris were in Chicago, I was in LA for like five days without them, and then like when I came home, it was like the longest we had been apart, and with that, I flew alone on a plane for the first time, and I have a couple stories that I didn't <laughs> tell Matt and Chris yet, of like things that happened to me, and honest to god, I think that shit this crazy happens to me and Matt and Chris all the time, but they felt so much more surreal because I was alone with my thoughts. So I was like, there's no one for me to talk to. That's you! There's no one for me to talk to and I'm never like that, so I'm like, I was just really like scoping out what was happening around me because... Mm. So next Because I was alone, but no, multiple stories. So, you know when like you scan your ticket for like the plane and it like beeps bright red if you're in an exit row? Yeah. And they're like, oh, are you willing and able to help in case of an emergency due to like yep. the fucking plane crashing? And you're supposed to say, yes, yes, I'm willing and able. And that's all they need. Like they're never gonna get in a plane crash, but you just have to say like, oh, I'm willing and able. Like you have to say yes. Yeah. Well, they're like, any handicapped personnel can board the plane first. And this bitch crutches up there. The <laughs> slowest I've ever seen anyone on crutches ever. Okay. Like, I'm talking, like, I've seen people on crutches and be kind of mobile with it. Like, moving <laughs> at a decent pace. This bitch crutched. Like, if she didn't have those crutches, she was getting nowhere. I kid you not. <laughs> okay. She gets to the front, scans her thing. Beeps bright red, of course. And the lady's <laughs> like, are you willing and able to help in case of an emergency? And I'm like... Why'd you even ask the goddamn question? First of all, second of all, she may be willing, but she is far, 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 far the fuck away from able. Like, if she says yes, like, there is concrete proof in front of my eyes denying this. Like, you are not able, girl, at all. Um, but gladly she says no. I said correct. Like, absolutely. Imagine, though, she's like, yeah, I'm willing and able. It's like, girl, there's proof in front of my eyes that you are not. Oh, my God. But she was... Dude, I was just a little in shock because I'm like, of course. The Why are you so high up? I'm like, look at me because I'm fixing my posture recently. But I was just like in shock. So I'm like, if this girl says like, oh yeah, I'm willing and able, you are far from the truth. Okay. And of course they put the girl with crutches. Like obviously they don't know, but it's like how ironic for the girl with crutches. Well, she booked her own girl. ticket. Yeah, but she probably broke a leg after. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Yeah, um, but also, I've never seen someone when they're like, oh, are you willing and able not say yes? And the funny thing, too, oh my god, I forgot, the guy before her was like, absolutely. Like, he was like <laughs> acting like a soldier, like getting ready for war. I was like, buddy, this is a fucking in-case scenario. Like, yeah. You're probably going to sit there lounging and eating peanuts. <laughs> Speaking of, I just perfectly transitioned into my next thought, and I didn't even mean to do it. We're, we're on the plane. I can't. We're on this plane, right? Did you I, write these I wrote down? all these down so I didn't forget. And I have, as a bullet point, served peanuts, question mark, question mark, question mark. Because we get on the plane, and they do all the normal procedure. And, like, right before we take <laughs> off, the intercom starts. And I'm like, oh, God, they're going to tell us the engines are busted. <laughs> like, we're done. But because it's, like, a random time Tuesday intercom. Okay. But the lady goes, oh, I was just informed that someone on this plane has a severe peanut allergy. So if you brought any snacks on board that it contained peanuts, tree nuts, any kind of nuts, please refrain from eating any of them and if you want a replacement for your snack well absolutely like we have a bunch but just please don't open any peanuts and i was in first class of course no i'm kidding we don't fly first class often but i was alone and scared so i was but i was in first class and the guy comes up to me like 40 minutes into the flight and he's like warm peanuts and hands me like a little dish of peanuts i'm like <laughs> You're like, ain't someone's life on the line? Like, ain't someone gonna die? One, one cold blow of the AC. No, because I was in shock. In I'm like, back. is someone not? Is someone under life-threatening circumstance in the back? Like, because they said don't eat peanuts, and they bust, they pull, they <laughs> they gave him out. That's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, let's see if I have another. That is insane. So they just serve peanuts, and everyone. Oh, another one I have written down. Two <laughs> motherfuckers with guitars. 
Okay. They have, they're like, oh, we're extremely limited on space. Like, we cannot have anyone put, like, anything other than one carry-on in the overhead bin. If you want to check your bag out of courtesy, like, we can. Two motherfuckers <laughs> with guitars as their carry-on item. And they let it happen? Like, I know it's 2023, but guitars cannot bend and fold. Like, that bitch was big. Yeah. And they're, like, trying to fit the guitars in the whole time. And this poor woman, like, they got the guitars in, and this poor woman had to, like, check her suitcase because there wasn't room. I'm like, have ACDC check their fucking bags, because that's ridiculous. Like, no one should be bringing on a carry-on item, a guitar. Like, I get it, they're more fragile, but that's ridiculous when you're pushing for space. Like, that's ridiculous. ACDC, bro. Oh, and then I got motherfuckers confusing me by, not, by moving weird as shit. And what I mean is, like, what? I'm at my gate, and, like, when I'm with Matt and Chris, I'm always like, oh, are we at the right place? Like, yeah, we're good. Like, I triple check my boarding pass. I check the app. I'm like, I check my flight number, you know? I'm there, and I'm like, okay, like, these people, like, they're probably going to Boston, you know? Classic. that's where I'm going. So I'm looking at this one guy, and then this one family of five, and they're, like, my two staple people. Like, because I, I saw them right when I got to the gate. I'm like, if they're here at the gate, I'm good. You know? Why? Because you thought... Because I was just like, oh, like, if they're here at the gate, like, I'm in the right place because, like, they're getting on this plane. You okay. know what I mean? Like, I, sure. I won't end up in the right... If I'm... I'll be in the wrong spot if both these motherfuckers aren't here when I'm getting on a plane. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, have I saw I them only have, I only have that getting when... Getting off the plane. Getting off the plane when I see someone go to, like, a baggage claim that... I'm like, oh, they were oh, on like, my they flight. they were on my flight. I'll go to that. Regardless, bag. it worked for me. But the family is eating at a table at the gate gets up and walks away after like the intercom and i was like "Ooh, i was really afraid mm -hmm. so then i look at the guy and he got up and walked away too and i'm like oh my god i'm in the wrong spot so i went over to the screen triple checked got on the plane motherfucker sitting next to me and i'm like where'd you go <laughs> dude like, when the plane was boarding like they called my boarding number he walked away and i was like oh no i hope i'm in the right place and i see on the plane he's sitting next to me that's crazy I'm like why are you moving weird as shit like that's bizarre i wonder where he went I don't know. This lady, she got a first class ticket and like the plane was supposed to like, like her seat was supposed to fully flatten out and she was like, oh, I just had back surgery, like giving the flight attendant her whole sob story. And she's like, <laughs> my, my seat isn't like going all the way down. And I'm like, you know, this is the one time I wish I was one of those motherfuckers that could say no or like was a bad person. Cause the flight attendant comes out to me, gives me the girl sob story and is like, do you mind like if you switch seats with her? And I'm like, you know what? I'm probably gonna pull an all night. You, anyway. you have to say that she was also first class, but her chair- Yeah, she was work. also first class. Her seat just wouldn't lay down. Mine would lay down. But the reason he asked me is cause I wasn't laying down yet because my seatbelt sign was on. So I'm like, there's no way like, like I didn't know I could go into laying position. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I was sitting it. up. Yeah. Obviously. Uh -huh. So. <laughs> he asks me and while he's asking me the girl's looking at me like Matt right now like looking over her seat like <laughs> with her fucking Holding back, her back and yeah. her fucking stupid face mask like not the mask the mask like the eye mask like okay oh, oh, oh alright all right, princess and the pee you crazy bitch like, get out of here princess and the what? the pee What's that? <laughs> it's the book Google with it. the girl. She's got like a hundred mattresses. Google it. And Google it. It was a really good it. reference for this story. It was. Google it. Google it. Google Hold it. For on. sure, Google Princess it. Princess and the P, the book. Princess and the P. I remember reading. Holy shit. You just. <laughs> I don't know how you have like that book. I haven't seen that book since fourth grade. What is it? <laughs> it's, Princess we and the read P. it in fourth oh, grade. Oh my fucking! You got the big ass <laughs> bed and the peas bothering her on the, like, the first one. Goofy bitch. If you don't haven't seen the book Princess and the Pea? Look it up. Google it. That was a good. It reference. was a really good. So, reference. Like, good. I don't know where <laughs> I pulled it. I pulled that shit from kindergarten. I, was, like, I don't know how you remember. I think I remember too. Like they did some sort of like super Y episode with it when I was a kid and I loved it. But <laughs> anyways, right. Princess Princess, Princess and the Pea. So she's looking at me. I'm like, of course, yeah, fine, no and problem. And it's like, dude, it's like, it just shows. It's like, like imagine I say no. Oh no, fuck the bitch who had back <laughs> surgery. I'm going to bed. Like, if I say no, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, stuck. oh, she had back surgery. It's like on America's Got Talent when they get the golden buzzer because like their grandma died. But anyways, she's looking at me with her sleep mask. Yeah, and I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm 30 minutes into an episode. My wi my fly fi is going great. I'm like, okay, I got Wi-Fi. This is yeah. awesome. I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Like, let me grab all my fucking shit. <laughs> I unplug my charger. I get all my shit together, and then I switch seats with her. She's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, yes, of course. Just take my seat. And then I get into my seat, and bro, 
The problem was not that it did not lie all the way flat. The problem was it was positioned if I was a fucking contortionist. <laughs> like the back was arched, the feet were up. I felt like a kangaroo on the Frogger. You know what I'm talking about? The ride that goes up and down. I felt like I was at Star Blast at Canopy Lake. It was unreal. I was like, what coaster did I just get on? I felt like they put me up like, like I've never had this happen to me because I'm, I don't have female genitalia, but like when you're giving birth, like your feet are up on the thing so that they can get a good look for the delivery. I felt like I was just up in the air, like, Weirdest position I've ever been in in my life for five fucking hours And then I tried to like lay it down and the problem was that the thing just didn't go flat It was just like stuck in that position and then I'm like, okay, like whatever RuPaul will get me through this So I go I go to my TV show and it's like oh not loading and then my Wi-Fi did not work for the rest of the flight oh my I'm like God. what songs do I have downloaded? I'll just listen to my downloaded music and try and sleep as if I'm fucking delivering a child <laughs> And I hit shuffle on my music. Silence. The whole plane. Silence. Silence. So I spent the whole flight sitting there in despair. No music, no TV, stuck with my legs in the air. <laughs> That's hilarious. And that was my night. It was terrible all around. Like, it was just a bad fucking... That's so funny. I feel like you shouldn't have gave like, her the seat. Do we seat. have any swords? Yeah, but like, imagine, Chris. You should have just said, fuck you and your back surgery. Go take it up with JetBlue. Well, I wasn't on JetBlue. Delta. United. United. Mm. No, but I agree. It's like, you, you get but what you get. You get what you get, and you don't, don't get, get upset. upset. Like, no, you I play with like the cards should... you're dealt with, and those were not my motherfucking cards. <laughs> I feel like, 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 I'm sorry. Go fish. I, like, I'm done. <laughs> I feel like you should have at least... You should have at least gotten a refund. It was just an unreal experience. Like it was like also like how are you gonna ha sell first class tickets and not have your first class seats work? All right, I feel like do we have any? Stories when do we get a SpongeBob air freshener? Yeah, I don't know. I love it. It smells like Jellyfish Fields. Give Jellyfish Fields a chance. Pineapple. Anyway, get in my car, drive fast. Feel, what, do we have any stories Better that we can tell Nick about our trip? If you wanna know what no, I'm about, I'm about. <laughs> I'm gonna bad. What did we do on the on the trip that like we can, could we can be funny? Well, we, I saw your we vlog. vlogged our trip. So yeah, Nick I knows. saw your vlog. I left my duffel bag in the Uber and I felt like an idiot. Oh my god! And then the dude was like begging for an extra tip. He deserved it. Though. He did deserve it, but like I felt so bad. Yeah. Uh, oh my fucking word! That scared the shit out of me. What else? <laughs> me, Chris, and um, our new friend Mason that was there. He orders us a lift. And there's three of us, and then the dude pulls up in a Chevy Silverado truck. Yeah. I hate Uber and Lyft catfishes. It's like, bro, it's like, there's three of us, and you're coming over here with a pickup truck? Like, let's at least have the right supplies. That's happened the... to me too many times where, like, we've ordered a car for, like, six people and, like, a four And then they car. get mad at you. It's like, no, you're the one that accepted the ride not having enough seats in your yeah. car. Nothing between it's just, like, completely wrong color. They're like, I'm on the way, and it's like... Alright. It sounded like someone just spawned in, bro. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles about to come. Dude, I was thinking it. it's like very Teenage Mutant Ninja Teenage Turtles. Like I saw I'm... Master Splinter a little while ago. No, for real. Oh, there he is. Whoa. I've just seen Master Splinter. Look at him. Oh, oh my wow. god. What are they that was actually perfect timing. People are going to think we're lying. No, for real. That was a rat. No, they're not going to think we're lying. It's We've fucking boss and mask, many. bro. There's rats, rats everywhere. I've seen like 30 this video. I'm about I'm to rat. Shout out to all the fans that took photos with me and Chris at Summer Smash and waited to the end of the festival days to post them to keep it a surprise from everyone that we were in Chicago. For I mean, real. Because we Bro, isn't it crazy that n people had no clue we were there at all? Maybe like a couple, maybe like 15 people until I was on the stage. Every No one knew you were there until you got on the stage. Yeah. Except for like we took Except photos for the people with, like, at Summer Smash yeah. already that saw Yeah, besides like, And then nobody had any service, so people saw that Chris was there live but couldn't post anything. I, it, was so it was so fun. It was how did you how do you feel? Like I feel pretty good. Cool. Uh, one note's crazy. Also, I just remember from the airport. Say it. What? The only waters they sold were in glass bottles at the stores. I'm like, that could be turned into a weapon very quickly. It could. And it was only option. I'm That's like, crazy. why are we having like let's like like when you're on a plane, usually you want like minimal shit that can fit all in your bag, like yeah. a plastic water bottle. It was like glass Evian. I'm like, I don't know what you think you're doing, but it ain't that. Better have a bank account if you, you want to see what I'm about. 
Oh I think I slept so for a total of like six hours the entire time I was in Chicago. And I, I think I, I slept. Days. I slept three and forty-eight. I slept three hours and forty-eight hours, and then you're walking around. I slept and I'm like, three hours and forty-eight hours. hours. Sounds like a rap bar. Mm. Sounds like Taylor Swift. Fearless, speak now. Red. Bro, I got a BLT and they threw a jalapeno in the middle. Oh! <laughs> and I was eating it, and I ate half of it, and then I got like a surprise. Dude, a about... BLT is one sandwich you cannot fuck up. <laughs> the so instructions insane. to make it are the fucking name, B L and T. If you're throwing in a J, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What's your problem? Like, if you're adding just surprise shit to a BLT, at least add it to like fucking... If you're gonna add surprise ingredients oh to a meal, God. it has to be like... Nachos Supreme Mess Disaster. <laughs> That's gotta be the title of the thing you order. Cause then you could throw fucking cow shit on it and I, I would expect that that's part of it. Cause the name is like fucking Disaster Tornado Nachos. But BLT <laughs> is crazy. I don't know Bacon, if this changed tomato. anything. I don't know if this changed anything, but it was a BLT A with avocado as well. Um, no J. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Okay, so that what, changes nothing. <laughs> just want to say if anything, sure. that makes it more clear on what should not fucking be. If anything, they should have just put the J. Also, what? where's my respect for Mayo at? Because he's on almost every BLT, and I don't see a M. thing about him. <laughs> no, for real. It should be BLTM. should be B. BLTM. Right? B Can't have a... BBLTM. I think we should have started abbreviating shit more. I no! Uh, we've had this course... <laughs> Better have a bank account if you want to see what I'm about. I'm a good girl. Work, power. I'm just a freak. Yeah. What's your favorite road sign? Road sign? Mine's U-turn. Like um, going the other way. I like a good yield because <laughs> it's like the balls in your court. Like it's proceed with caution, but do your thing. <laughs> What's your um, <laughs> I think it's stop. You wanna know what, <laughs> yeah. like, you wanna know what signs I hate? I hate when it's like no parking and then it's like a full paragraph about when and where and He's it's not gonna have a fun answer because he can drive, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's you're true. looking at this. Too that's much. true, that's true. Yeah. I like road signs that are easy. I, I feel like, like signs are like dude, what would we do without signs? What would you do without traffic lights? Drive. Yeah, and then you're just hitting everything. No. Yeah. I feel like it'd be I feel like there'd be a memory pattern if it wasn't the color pattern. Like it, it would be like instead of following red, gr blue, green, I mean blue. red, red, yellow, green. Not it would insane. be it would be like a pattern in memory of people. It was like for five seconds or five cars, five cars. Like it would be a whole no, rhythm. Cause then nah, because then people are gonna have to start dr Dude, stop driving at a way people are, earlier age. People are think of old so people selfish that are like when they're driving. old people that are literally. Is there like colorblind like glasses to see the? Road? Well, no, because red, green, and yellow are the probably, but red, green, and yellow are in the like the lights are never changing from the right spot. So colorblind people probably just think like, oh, green lights the top one. Yeah, but how do they know it's glowing? Um, cause that's not color blindness, that's blindness. Then you definitely are not behind the fucking wheel at all. Like, if you don't know it's glowing, that's a whole nother fucking case that you need to deal with. Uh, Better have a bank account if, if you, you want to see what I'm, I'm about. about. Let's I'm all think of things bad. that the other one should start doing. Like, not in like a rude way, like not, don't change. Uh oh, I was gonna say shower. <laughs> that's like oh so like God. I think you're clean. No, Matt makes these jokes and then people Look, are gonna, we like, went think. to we went to a three day I think you should work hard. We went to a three day fucking... festival and Chris walks into the room on the third day with everyone in there and he goes, Bro, I, he walked into the room after showering in the this other is hotel room. Me. No, it's after not. After the other I, hotel I'm room and he goes and saying. he goes, okay. That was the first good shower I had in two days. I said that was the first really good shower I had in like a couple days because the other nights I got home so late because it was a fucking festival and then so I like cleaned like in like like three four minutes like soap all everywhere and then just washed it off and then dried my body off valid and then the then the other day I like you went to you bed, were more bed. leisure and then I didn't have any requirements that night mm. and I actually was gonna stay up until my flight so I was like you want to know I'm gonna take a nice long shower love it so then I took showers every day which is a normal fucking thing I do mm -hmm. and I just said to everyone like, have you oh, seen wow. that soap ad on TikTok and the guy goes out to people with the mic he's like how many showers you take and some guy was like, uh, like how, well, oh, and then they just shower how, on the how beach? often do you shower? And they just like, shower on the beach. Yeah, but yeah. that's not what I'm getting at. He what? Goes, Shut up. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> okay. He goes, oh my God. Okay, no violence. He goes, how often do you shower? And some guy was straight up like every three days. 
<laughs> that's crazy. I was like, that's, I know you If I don't shower for like. I know your ass stinks. If bro. I don't shower in like every 15 hours, I feel like. Sometimes I feel like I gotta shower every 10 minutes. Bro, I'd like, be no, changing bro. my underwear just to change no, it. No, the second my. Yeah, they're not even dirty. I'm like, I gotta. No, the second yeah. I step outdoors, I'm like, I need to. Once I get back indoors, uh, I have to. Well, shower. it's just also like, there's like, like toxic masculinity is so crazy to the point where like some straight men <laughs> think it's. You gotta be it's a like, caveman. Straight men are like, it's gay as shit to like clean. Yeah. Like straight men Hunt straight up only dinner. shower once a day, even if they like, go to the gym and smell like shit, because getting clean and taking care of your own body is gay. So, <laughs> I mean, if it's gay, then fucking get me another pride flag, because <laughs> I love it. I love taking my showers. What was I gonna say? I can't believe that that's like a thing. Okay, the one thing like men can wash their face. I think yeah. Nick, I think you'd be really good at rock climbing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can just see just. I feel like I wouldn't be good at li rock climbing. I think I'd be good at life or death rock climbing. Mm. Like if I'm gonna like fall no to plummet to my death, then I. I feel like like if my toilet was like clogged or needed like assistance, you'd be the guy. Like I feel like you'd be like, watch out, I can handle this. Well, I'm the bug killer of the group. That's true. Don't look at me. <laughs> did that have anything to do with what I said, though? Well, well no, because you're talking... Well, did rock climbing have to do with fucking fixing your toilet? That's very true. No, but I'm saying what I think we'd be good at. Correct. That's what he did. I like, if I had, like, a big, like, like problem in the bathroom, <laughs> I'd be like... Um, <laughs> like, and my toilet wasn't flushing, I'd be like, Matt... And he'd just, like, put some gloves on, crack his knuckles, and Mario I'd and call Luigi that shirt. I feel like Nick would, like, really make good caramelized onions. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> you just saute them on the pan till they're golden brown. I feel like I could cook a lot better if I had the time to cook. No, like I feel like I catch Nick, myself like, yeah, I'm hungry as shit. Like I could I'm see Nick cooking food. something up nice. Like, like I feel. No, like, I can't. I can't cook while I'm hungry because I'll eat it raw. No, like whatever I'm cooking, I'm just like, I'll just eat this now. I don't want to wait. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I have no patience when it comes to a meal. Like if I'm heating no, up, we like, know. if I'm boiling water, I'm like looking at it like, please, <laughs> better have a bank account. Everyone clap in a rhythmic pattern on three, and if we if two of us clap the same rhythmic pattern, we have to just end the video right away. Okay, ready? Ready? Set, set go. go. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, try one more time. Okay, 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 ready? <laughs> set, go. And then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did, we said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid. We had a lot.